Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to Wizard Training on the Cup Code server. We've got a little bit of stuff to do today. Look at that Enderman standing out there. we got a little bit of stuff to do today. First of all, we've got a couple recipes. So not a whole lot, just a couple. We're going to take a look at down here. Oh, wait, I didn't finish that one. Hold up, hold up. We need one more thing to complete that recipe. Get on out of here. Where are you at? Neener, 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 neener. All right. How is it you're still making noise after you're dead? Sheesh. All right, we just need one piece, one of these. There we go. Let's go on back downstairs. I know I already had some in my inventory, but those are set aside for a specific use, and you will see here in a little bit what those are for. Uh, so I didn't want to use those, but the, that living wood we created, we put three on top, three on the bottom, one piece of gold here, and a mystical blue petal, or any color petal, it doesn't matter, and that makes the mana spreader. We are going to make use of that. Uh, next, we have that living rock we produced. Yeah, well, you put it over here like you're making a boat, and it kind of looks like a boat, but it's called a mana Cool. Now, we'll show you what that's for later, too. Now, real quick, let's go back outside. We're going to we're gonna outline where we're going to make our mana section at. And But before we do that, let's go make... Let's go make something. Let's go do something. Let's go... Oh, I'm not gonna need one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need some seeds. Let's grab these seeds out of here. We're going to need this stuff over here. Now, the next thing we're going to make are some flowers. Oh, wait. Just right there, too. Hold on. Kind of need water. Kind of need water. You can't do can't do apothecary in without water. So throw in two yellow, one light blue, and one orange, followed by, of course, your seed. And that makes your day bloom. Now, we're going to continue we're going to make eight more of these things because we're going to be using a lot of these and over time we're going to make a heck of a lot more than this this is just the beginning fill it up with water let's grab we have some water for next time too Two yellow one blue one orange and a seed fill it back up to yellow we're throwing it by the way don't forget we on the key on the computer I am pressing Q to throw it which I mean you kind of have to play on the computer because well mods aren't currently available for Xbox or the PlayStation or anything like that really kind of sucks man I I would love to be able to play my mods play these mods on like my Xbox 360 or Xbox One. I think I just think that would be awesome, but the chance of that actually happening slim, very slim. The only way that's going to happen is if Mojang provides the mod itself, and that's just not going to happen. Well, because they have to pay, they'd have to pay the, the the mod builder, the person who makes the mod, for the rights for them to sell the mod. Because you know darn well they're not going to make it for free available like if they make modding available for the xbox 360 then they're going to make the mods as a download a dlc pack that you'd have to pay for so they'd have to pay the mod creator for developing it and that's why i don't see it ever happening all right back in here throw that back in there we have nine day blooms now we're going to come out here pick up that string Put my stuff back in order here. I don't know if I'm. I don't think I'm going to need all this. I went and made all these darn torches just for these day blooms, and I don't think I'm going to use them at all. Honestly, I really don't think I'm going to use them at all. Uh, let's see. I want to make it way out here because I want to have some extra room. Let's see. Three, four. Be about five right there, I think. I'm gonna step over one more. Now this is going to be the center of my day bloom farm. 
all right what's going to happen here is i'm going to have day blooms growing all around this and there's going to be a mana spreader right here pointing well, that way and so what we're going to do right now is we're going to map out the edges okay now i might have to do this a couple times but one two three four five i believe that's the edge right there so I'm gonna pull that one two all right that right there tells me that i am totally off this is not the right right length now these are collapsible blocks from the carpenter's block mod um i'm using those just because it's easy they're easy, they break down easy as you see two one two and then one two and then there's the tip that should line up perfectly yes it does so this is our circle now what i mean by this is our circle is we see where i'm placing these blocks that is the furthest outer range where you can place a day bloom and it will con connect to the mana spreader here so now that you see how to measure that out it's actually quite simple when you really think about it all right so there is our range for it uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put collapsible blocks on the outside of this that and then I'm going to break these interior blocks down so that the collapsible blocks will kind of serve as a guide for me when we're placing the day blooms. I think I have enough to surround this again. Now I am not going to use this furthest edge piece right here. I'm going to just ignore the fact that they can actually be placed there just because you know symmetry I think it looks better. here and here this goes there that goes there there boom 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 it looks like i might have enough to to surround this oh just barely just barely no big deal no big deal we're we got to pick up the the interior blocks anyways right all right now we've got that done let's go ahead and pick up all these interior blocks I just had to do that so I could show you where it grows at. And it's also for me because that's the best way that I remember it. Now, over time, we are going to fill this entire area here, except for this line right here. We're going to fill this entire lane here with day blooms, except for that line right there. And that'll produce a good... Uh, that'll that'll definitely provide us all the power we're going to need once this is full we're going to have mana shooting out of this like near constant and then over there we're going to do the same thing but with night blooms so day blooms only provide power during the day night blooms only provide power at night and with the two working in combination we'll have power constantly so just you know awesome all right so with that said let's go ahead and start placing our day blooms down Now the day blooms will start providing power to the nearest block mana spreader to it. So we're going to go ahead and notice, see how I'm facing this? I'm facing it from this direction. We are going to place our mana spreader right there. This way the opening in the mana spreader is facing us. So when it collects mana, it's going to shoot it out the front there. Now we're going to need to take this mana pool here. And we're going to step one, two, three, four right there so there's one two three and then you know four blocks between there that should connect up to here look up oh, it's already providing all right so when we have the wand of forest in our hand it shows us the path mana will travel as you can see with this that is the path that mana will travel so we're going to come over here and right click on it and we're going to come over and right click on this now though it should theoretically this should start providing power to that mana pool right over there sometime today please sometime today as you see that green bar is going up it is collecting mana from those day blooms there and once it gets full it is i think once it gets full it is going to shoot that mana out over there to the mana pool up oh, yep it's about to get nighttime too which means we're not we're going to stop collecting mana here in a little bit 
And as you can tell, we're going to be using a lot of flowers because I literally used all of my yellow flowers in making those day blooms right there. We're going to be using a lot of those flowers here soon to fill this up. And we're also going to be using a lot of flowers to make the night blooms. So that is why the next major thing I want to build is another flower that produces more flowers. So it'll be awesome, man. Especially once we get this up to full power, it'll just poof, power, plant, flower, 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 flower. It, it was awesome. I, I was in testing. I had hooked this up in creative obviously and filled it all the way up and hooked it up to the other flower and we were just getting flower after flower I and mean, you could just sit here and watch the flower spawn one after the other it was totally amazing it was awesome all right let's go inside and go to sleep because it is nighttime i'm not generating any power out there at nighttime Now, of course, there is an Ars Magica spell that I could use to change the time from night to day to day to night. But as you're well aware, I have not produced that spell. Uh, I believe Sanka Tor might have created that spell. So I might head over to his house at some point and get a copy of that spell. But for now, we're just going to deal with what we got. All right. We should be fairly close. Getting some actual mana shot out of here. Yeah, see, if it's connected, we should be seeing mana. Okay, what I think is happening is I think that that is not close enough. So we're going to come back over here, and we're going to break that up. This is easier with a pickaxe, obviously. Actually, I don't think I can break this up. That. All right, fine. Pick you up. All right, so I'm going to one, two, three. We're going to place it right there. And let's see if that doesn't connect. Would you come on? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Would you stop that? Thank you. All right, well, what just happened is I right-clicked, shift right-clicked it, and that's what caused it to change its power. Okay, there we go. Poof. Now, as you just saw, it just kicked out power. Sometimes, it, it's like ours, remember Ars Magica, the, the Ars Magica 2 version 1.1.2? We had some issues where you had to put down the, the target block before you did the source block or something like that. Well, that's the same case here for some regodly unknown reason. Now, if I check this, as you see, it is now targeting the mana pool. So it is now sending its power over here to the mana pool, which is awesome. Wow, that's exactly what we wanted. I don't know why it wouldn't do it beforehand, but keep that in mind. If things aren't working right, like they're supposed to, try removing the source block and replacing it. So with Botania, apparently, you want to work backwards from the target to the source. All right, well, that's just about all the time we have for the day. Uh, we have some power generation up and running. It's not a very strong power generation yet. It will get stronger as time progresses on. Uh, real quick before I go, I want to go ahead and explain these things. The way they work is when you place a day bloom or, yeah, essentially when you place a day bloom, it will look for the nearest mana spreader to it. And will connect to it provided that it was is, is within range. Now this line out here specifies the range as you see it is one two three four five blocks right there all right so there's a five block range that it will connect to it so in general when you're when you've got one of these designs here when you're building up your day bloom farm like this you want to try to do your best to make sure you do not put any other mana spreaders within five blocks of the outer edge because you don't want to, I mean, you don't want the power from these day blooms being sucked off to go to some somewhere else. You want these to be put, going to that block there and coming in. So we're going to make our, we're going to do our best to make sure we do not put any more of those within five blocks of this outer edge. All right. In doing so, we're preventing, you know, ourselves from sucking our own power out. All right. Well, that uh, also, since this was not placed, once you place it, 
it sends out like a, like a signal to all these others to say, hey, are you close enough? And they are. So if, since they are not connected to another block, they automatically connect. Now, if I put down, if I went ahead and I put another mana spreader right here, for instance, these day blooms will not connect to it because they're already connected to this one. However, if I put another mana spreader right there and then later I put a day bloom right there, this day bloom will connect to the one over here. So you want, that's why you want to be careful. Now, once we get this filled in and all the day blooms in here, then it's not going to matter. We can put as many of those, we can put as many mana spreaders out around it as we want as long as we don't remove and replace this one here. But just to be safe, keep them at a distance. All right, and as you see, we look over here and we are generating some mana. And we can right click on it and see it shows us our its power level. Um, I wish that the power level would display in numeric form, but it, there doesn't seem to be an option for that to happen. And it doesn't do that on any of them. And remember, when you look at it, yeah, you see that bar, but in order to see an updated progress you have to right click on it for it to update it will not update automatically it's the same thing with the flowers right click on them and it updates their status when you click on them there we go all right that's it for today thanks for watching as always a like a comment and a share it lets me know that you care see you in the next episode of wizard training on the cup code server